this video is going to be covering the decal section of the shader which is under the main category if you have any questions about what you're about to see or anything in the shader at all please join the discord server there's a link in the description below try not to ask technical questions in the youtube comments they're very difficult to answer correctly all right let's get started so the decal um, section is sort of what it says it is you can put decals on your model so you can see this poyomi shader logo thing and that is simply this texture and it just overlays it on the model you can move it around you can do whatever you want with it decals can actually be used for a ton more than you'd think you can use it like we're seeing it right now or you could use it to maybe maybe you wanted to color a model you could overlay a rainbow decal on it and then change how it's blended by default if you apply a decal you're not going to see anything because these blend modes are just turned off you want it to either be additive, multiplicative, or replace, which just replaces whatever it's on. And we'll cover that more in depthly later, but for most of these, it's just going to be on replace. So your decal has all the normal settings you would expect. And let's move on to the mask. So in this one, we have a polka dotted decal, and then the mask is these triangle shapes. You can do whatever you want with the mask. You could tie. That is the wrong material. You can do whatever you want with the mask. You can tile it. You can offset it. Whatever. Same as normal. Like any texture in the shader. Uh, you can pan it if you want. You can do whatever. It's a cool way to have sort of a static decal underneath it that's kind of showing only where you want it to show. And as you can see, this doesn't actually cover the whole material, but this one does. And that's because this one has the tiled option selected. So you can choose to show the decal only in one spot or to tile it across wherever you want. And that's all this one really shows. This one is showing the rotation. So always selecting the wrong one. All right, so the rotation is just sort of rotates the texture around a center point. So this texture is actually square, it's basically like this, and then it's rotating around the center point. And this is handy for just positioning things well on your model. Uh, some people might want like an effect that's constantly rotating, and luckily we've got you covered for that. So if you go over here, you can see there's this sheet of print, something you would probably never rotate, but for example's sake, we're showing that. And all you have to do is go to your rotation speed and just Set it to a value. You can make it a negative value if you want it to rotate the other way, but that's all this does. You can still tile it if you want. You can have the whole thing rotating, an effect you might want. <laughs> but, like, who knows what people want? I just give you the options. Now we're going to cover those blending options we talked about at the start. I made a cool background for this just to show how blending functions. So, the blend modes are additive, multiplicative, and replace. For additive, it's literally just going to add the color on. So as you can see here, we have like a sort of like a cracky or veiny decal, and we're just adding that color. In shaders, colors are just values from zero to one. If we take this rainbow, it's probably gonna be pretty bright, and the red, green, and blue values will be in range of zero to one. And then if we add this, black and white texture it's going to push those values up wherever it was black is going to be zero so it's not going to brighten it at all and then wherever it was white is going to add it and then the shader like colors can't really exceed one so they it'll just sort of cap out at one you can't take like a white background and make it more white you can use a mission to do that and if you have bloom in your world you can sort of make it glow but in this case it's just going to max out at one Let's go to this one. This one is the same exact texture, but it's multiplicative. So wherever it was dark is going to be a close to zero value, and the colors in the background might be like 0.75. So if you have like 0.1 times 0.75, you're going to get like 0 0.075, an even darker color. So multiplication is going to make things darker. It's never going to really make things brighter because, as I said earlier, the highest value you can get in the texture is one. So one times anything is just going to give you the same value. 
So this is used for just sort of blending colors together. And you can see here if I mess with the multiplication, you see that original color and then I multiply it into this. So this could be useful if say maybe your decal was a rainbow and your background color was white. So you can sort of blend the colors and make the whole white background a rainbow. And then you can mask it where you want, do all that stuff. This one actually still does have that rainbow background, but it's replacing it. So if you replace something, it's just being replaced entirely. You can half replace it, so it gives you like a 50-50. That is how everything in decal works. So again, if you have any questions about this or anything else, please direct your questions to the Discord server. There's a link in the description below. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something.